getting started. Roll this footage. Okay. Hold on, where's the button at? Hold on. Man, close this thing, man. God dang, close all these notifications. Yo. Let me see if make sure everything loaded up before I start the podcast. Oh snap. Let me see. Oh man. Hold on, G. There we go. Okay. There's everyone in here. Oh, let me save file. Six hours later, my lucky mess. Oh, that smile. Uh, give me I'm going to put out an extra sound off this fan. In Georgia. Now, let me get up in the video. Uh, if you don't know what this video is about, you read the title in the description. What does it tell me? Businesses with zero employees making multiple millions a year. Zero employees. That's, that's the topic of today. What kind of job, what kind of business that you can have with zero employees making multi millions a year? Hmm. Anybody know what kind of business that might be? What kind of business that is where you can make multi millions within a year? With Zero employees. Just to know that that does exist is a great thing. To know that a business can be created by an individual and turn that idea into multi millions is a wonderful thing, especially be in a country that allow a person to come from poverty but all you would need is a idea and turn that idea to something big amazing amazing I salute to the people that did that okay let's see um let me see let me go to my resources Okay. All right, let's see. Let's check out this one employee company. One employee company that everyone knows about. Okay. Let me see if I can shrink my screen a little bit. One company everyone knows about. Okay. One company everyone knows about. Let's type it in to see. Plenty of fish. Let's see. Plenty of fish. Let's see. Wiki. Is a Canadian online dating service. Um, 
know, in Canada, the United Kingdom, the Republic of Ireland, Ireland. These are basically in nine languages, principal based off um, British Columbia, where it doesn't need food advertising and premium membership. Why it is free to use tuna fish. Race. Marcus, because it was word that Plenty of Fish had one employee and sold the business for, I don't know if they sold it or not, but it made millions off the idea with one employee. Let's see. Let's see if we can goddamn pull some sources up on Plenty of Fish. Hundred million, bro. A hundred million dollar business, bro. He no employees. Speed it up so I don't want no copyright thingy. So they won't know if I speed it up. There you go. initially was every five minutes I record every course stat in the system. So I record how many people logged in today. I record how many people signed up today. And one of the keys is to measure how that changes over time. So if you have a thousand signups today and 50% of them return next week, that's a really good thing. And you want to measure how that does over time. So let's say you change something randomly on the site and all of a sudden if you have a thousand signups today, all of a sudden only 400 of them return the following week. You've done something wrong, you need to go back and fix it. And this happens constantly. Now earlier we were talking about email marketing. And you know, let, let's say that you send out, let's say you got a, a thousand people signing up to email marketing list a week, but your unsubscribe rate suddenly climbs to 100 a week for no reason, or 200 a week for your new users. So you have to you have to measure constantly. Like, is it the content of the emails that you're sending out? Is it the way you structure the emails? Did you do some kind of redesign? Did you do anything that that would change that ratio? And you know, it, although Plenty of Fish is pretty big now, the vast majority of how we grow and, and most companies, uh, large tech companies, are growing is you're just measuring absolutely everything every day and seeing if there's differences. Anyways, I guess we'll open up to questions now. <laughs> How do you stand out with a free website amongst your paid competitors? Like I say, man, we, we getting into the nitty gritty of thing, man, on how people are actually doing this stuff, yo. They actually doing this stuff. They actually making millions and stuff, man. Making millions, man. Do you see it for yourself? The CEO, he, you know, he started with an idea. You feel me? Like, started with an idea. It don't even look like he, it like he single his dang self, bro. Like, he single his self. Like, he ain't even been around no female like that to be making an app like that, real stuff. But, you know, an idea can come to anybody, man. And he was the first one to act on it. And that's what it's about. He wasn't chasing like he, I bet he wasn't chasing tail. Ain't no way he can chase tail and make this app. Can't chase tail and make this app at the same time. That's, that's, I hope I, man, I hope that thing went too loud. I just thought about how my echo do, man. I don't know, man. Let me see. Ah, oh, man. 
I hope the audio is good. I hope the audio is good. I can't make a video because my man is just gone, man. I hope my audio is great. Uh, what is this? Okay, whatever that is, it just ain't updated. All right, let's see. Let me check my audio. I'll play this out. Like, like I said before, it's constantly measuring everything and adopting to change really quickly. So, you know, first it was all about the web, but the web for us is pretty much dead now. About two years ago, we were 10% mobile. Today, under the age of 35, that's flying to 85, 9% mobile. So for us, the web is like developing for the BlackBerry, like two to three years ago. It's, it's most of the, the competitors in our industry have stopped actually developing for the web. They're just it's not even slowing down. So it's, it's the constant changing, it's seeing what the new trends are, and uh, building for use cases. So, you know, if your users are using online dating on their cell phone, that's where all the future dating will be. So you have to build for the use case. You can't just build, oh, we're going to have an awesome website, and we're going to have online dating on our website. That just doesn't work anymore, because the users have transitioned. Mm -hmm. what, what we do is, is we measure, so when you leave the site, we ask who you left in a relationship with. When we have matching pairs, we have all the attributes of the, the female and the male side. And we have the hundreds of questions that you took throughout the, you know, why you were on the side, all, all this user behavioral data. And we can tell exactly who entered the relationship with who, potentially. And then we can use that data to predict who else will enter into relationships. But on top of that, we can also predict the breakup rate and which attributes lead to divorces, breakups, all that data. Because 30, 40 percent of people come back and sign up again. So we, we, we have tremendous amounts of data and we use it to, you know, f find the best matches for you and actually match you with people that we know you will stay together with. Oh, that's so. Well, we, we have offline events. Our users, um, I think Who's it's 500 question? events a month. Yeah, our users, there's 40,000, 50,000 people a month go to them. But, you know, our, our core business is we get people to meet online and we try and get them offline as fast as possible to meet in the real world. So Tinder is, I don't know if you guys know if it's hot or not, but it's basically you go if, if they're hot or not. And, um, it's, it's a, oh, yeah. a new app launched by IAC. It don't match up on whatever one's other. We can ask the team. We're bringing a lot of people to online dating that would normally never use online dating. So I think it's expanding the category, but it's not really. Um, the, intent is, yeah. the intent is to meet someone and have a relationship with them there. So it'll be interesting um, to see how that develops. Well, like, cartridge or a yeah, leader? There's really? no magic formula. What we did is, is yeah, well, basically, it was a lot of SEO at the very start. So we had 100, 200 users trickle in. Oh, regular meter, and that's not the coverage. Rally. But really, what you're doing every week, you're measuring what you're doing, 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 but they got, they got some needle, they got some other needle that can sell like $2 each. It doesn't work that way. Because what's happening is all the needle that has to be back to the So the moment you slow down, you can yeah, I got some black. I said, I'm yeah, talking about that. Uh, 100 is pretty good. You just got to be momentum. So, so you get a big part of the whole thing. You can retain them and get them to tell their friends and friends and whatnot. Um, and um, it's we're, we're focusing a lot on mobile. Really? Because it's changed so dramatically. We don't. I, I don't think that's solved enough. Um, tablets are interesting. Um, I guess 10% of use now. Uh, even if you use the web. You gotta look up here a lot. I take the thing. Okay, uh, so um, I say he was able to sell his for a hundred million. I don't know who owns it now or what, what's going on. Let me see. Let me get my facts straight. Let me 
ran the site independently until 2008 when he began hiring as employees at his new dental headquarters in 2009. Julio Fish also launched a content for Lady Gaga while single members go together and meet the singer Ben Paul Dane Ball. Okay. So he, like I said, he started his company in 2003 and went. Damn, hold on. It's 2008. That's five years. He ran the business five years. Let me highlight that for y'all who don't know what I'm reading and looking at. Penny of Fish became full time money making business for Marcus. Y'all see what I'm reading? Oh, I'm my picture in the way. My bad. Let me, let me get that away. Y'all see what I'm reading? I screenshot it. Yeah! <laughs> Man, this dog on net is getting on my freaking nerves, yo. I read it, screenshot it yourself, whatever. You look it up, Penny Fish, you see it. Um, that's one company. That's one company that's making millions with zero employees, making millions. That's a mo too. Okay, that's a mo. So we can get man uh, one business called uh, Streamyard. Let's look that up. Y'all getting any kind of value out of this? You know, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what y'all think. You know, y'all want to hear more content like this where you know we're talking about money, how to make money, and you know ways people become life-changing uh, business owners and stuff in America and places around the world. If you want to know this stuff like that, follow me. You know? Follow me, like, comment, subscribe. Let me see what it is. I'm going to look at this one more time. Uh, what's the name of it? Stream Yard. There you go. Yard. Ooh, this this wiki is It's just live stream. No. I don't want to look up live stream. Let me see.
security come back on the next. What it say? What it say? Uh, hmm. Hmm. Vinegar and soap. That, that stuff right there works real good. Get a mix. Some laundry. No, some turtle soap and some. Next. Um, let me see. Steam yard. Two hundred and fifty million, boy. Woo! Steam yard for two hundred fifty million as it looks to expand its product lineup. Boy, boy, my goodness, 250 M's. What is Steam Line? Steam Yard. What is that? What is it? It's a Steam Yard. Let's find out what that is, y'all. Um, uh, the deal. What is it? What is Steam Yard? At Purdue Global, your experience is worth credit for your degree, and your future Man, is worth if y'all learn something, like, comment, subscribe, yo. Come back and Straight move up. forward at Purdue Global, Purdue's online university for working adults. Apply now. Yeah, I like that. Is it? Okay. Today we're going to talk about what exactly is StreamYard. So StreamYard is a live streaming studio within your browser that allows you to make interactive and engaging shows on platforms like Facebook Live and YouTube Live. And the whole point of StreamYard is to make live streaming super simple uh, while still creating a professional show that is a very seamless experience. So traditionally live streaming is pretty expensive. It costs you thousands of dollars to get the streaming setup. So StreamYard is what we call a streaming service, meaning most of the work is done on StreamYard's computer rather than your own computer. Uh, this allows you to still make very high quality live streaming services that you could stream on your old laptop as long as you have a good webcam and a solid internet connection. Uh, StreamYard lets you do cool stuff like show lower thirds like the one I'm showing now. They'll also pull in comments from the platform you're streaming to. Uh, this is an example of a comment you might show on stream. Instead of the duck there, it'll be a picture of the person at the top of the screen. Um, you can even do things like overlays, uh, like the StreamYard live show, right? You can make this look however you like. Uh, you can also change your brand colors. So your brand color here is red. You can make that red. And one of the coolest features is you can even do videos like this. So, Stream Yard. There you have it. It is a stream. Stream Yard is an amazing live stream host feature. It's got so many great features like recording comments, sharing your screen, inviting guests are also some other really cool features that are not quite so obvious. Some of the things are hidden, not quite as hidden features. And today, I'm going to share five. Okay, yeah, we don't need to, I don't need no copyright strike from anybody. Okay. So, yeah, StreamYard, 
streaming service that got a twist to it so you can do it on old computers and stuff like that and still be able to get a high frequency broadband broadcast out there to your followers and subscribers and but to sell that for 250 M's, oh my gosh. What is that? 250 million, boy. I got some more lined up, man. I think I'm, uh, let me see. Do I do it all on, do I, do I got time to do another company? Let me see. If y'all enjoying this, like, comment, subscribe. I got time to do another um, million dollar one company, one zero employee company, multi million zero employee company. Now, I hope I got, I got about neighbor playing music. Let me got down um, playing this before. Uh, sound pick up all kind of extra stuff right y'all appreciate it man y'all like comment subscribe i'm gonna come back maybe a day or a decent time when i can play some music you know play my podcast and y'all come back and um yeah you ready for some other art stuff yeah man y'all like content like that like comment subscribe i'm gonna be dropping another one because there's some more companies out there that y'all need to know about it started with zero employees bro that's multi-million Dollar company, bro. Millionaires out here, all off of idea. So let's let's think like that, man. Let's keep that cranium, keep that thinking cap on, tie that thing on, subscribe, hit that button, and uh, we going up, man. I'm only taking my followers and subscribers. I'm doing a giveaway too. We got the uh, mask giveaway before Halloween. Y'all go ahead and get on with that. Uh, we got shooting squad. Bill Art Slides, go to Etsy and order your pair before they go up. Uh, they're going up. They're going up. They're going up. I think I ain't going to make them fast. I think maybe I will. I don't know. But I want to put a scarcity on them. You know what I'm saying? I want, I want to put a scarcity on them. So I want to make them fast. But yeah, man, I know what time it is, man. Like, comment, subscribe. Play my song. I'm about to say, what is this? Man, I'm about to shout it. You know what I'm saying? I thought they were playing my music, bro. But uh, they got me ready to play my music, man. I got the song stuck in my head. But yeah, man. Y'all enjoy the content. Like, comment, subscribe. You know I said that before. It was a 30 minute video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. Yeah. All right, y'all, man. Peace, one love. It's boy, Brandon Page. Brand Tattoo is signing in and signing out. Hope y'all got some good knowledge from my videos. You know, good substance from my videos. So, yeah. Man, I'm just cranking my ass out, man. I ain't doing this every day. At least every day. 30 minutes a day at least. I might even do three videos a day. I think I can manage a 30 minute video every day. At least one 30 minute video. But alright, y'all. Y'all heard it here first, man. 30 minute video every day, man. Got to manage that. My, um, I knew that was something. Alright, let me not. Let me stop for that goddamn copyright. Alright, y'all. Peace out, man. One love. We just got button tattoo from Thrill Arts, baby. Zero employees at Thrill Arts. You feel me? All right, bye.